between 10 and 17 that Jay Cutler was going to be the guy. Denver Broncos, they did a pretty good job of, show, of, of, of not showing their hand. They were going to take a quarterback in this draft. Well, you look at Mike Shanahan, he handpicked Brian Greasy. That didn't work out. Now Jay Plummer. Now Jay Cutler into the mix. You look at a kid, big kid, strong arm. No question about his arm strength. He can whip the ball around the field. I think the accuracy, a little sporadic there. A little up and down. Runs a little hot and cold, in my opinion. Real smart kid. I mean, he'll have no problem picking up an offense, digesting all that information, and processing it very quickly. On the field, people say, well, he didn't have a lot of time. You see here, against Florida, being able to evade that defensive end and then make a play in the pass game here with the quarterback draw again using his ability to run with the football to move the chains that was against a Georgia Bulldog defense that's very athletic against Tennessee the last two years he was outstanding that's the end of the season Jay Cutler put up big numbers against the volunteers as a junior and a senior the Florida game this year he was outstanding that's Earl Charles actually Earl Bennett the uh, freshman wide receiver who was an outstanding addition to that Commodore football team the concerns I have are twofold accuracy mechanics and the fact that the completion percentage I think needs to improve a bit. They can say the supporting cast wasn't up to the level. That's fine. Dealing with pressure. Everything Jay Cutler did at Vanderbilt is great. He went in five games, phenomenal. Didn't beat Middle Tennessee State, didn't go to a ball. I think dealing with that pressure and that scrutinization with the expectation of that bar raised a lot higher is something he'll have to answer. Liner and Young have already answered that question. We'll see, but I